While Coach Bob Bradley hasn't announced his starting lineup in its entirety, we do know that certain players, barring last-minute injury, will be starting. Josie Altidore, Clint Dempsey, Landon Donovan, Tim Howard, Carlos Bocanegra, Michael Bradley. What we don't know, among other things, is who, if anyone, will be paired with Altidore at forward and if Aguchi Anyewu is 100%. As far as tonight's specific matchups go, conventional wisdom holds that when teams that offer the same basic style of play meet, the team with the better talent wins. If that holds, the English should have little trouble with the Americans, but that equation fails to take into account what's typically true of U.S. national teams, that they're greater than the sum of their parts. I don't think there's any disputing that man for man, England is a more talented team. We feel more than any team in this tournament, forget about England, that we are a better team with better chemistry and better camaraderie than any other team. We could bring that on Saturday and still lose because they're more talented. But my guess is that if we bring that to its fullest extent, we have a real good chance to win. Surprisingly, perhaps, English fans should be outnumbered tonight by American fans. Officials have said that 8,000 tickets were sold in the U.S. and only 6,000 in England. Game time temperatures should be comfortable for both teams in the mid-40s. The 2010 FIFA World Cup through July 11th on ESPN and ABC.